Chicago artist Jack Carney has been producing sculpture from car bumpers for more than 30 years. His early works were cast in bronze, a material used by sculptors since the Roman era. But one day, while poking through a pile of scrap in Provincetown, Massachusetts, Carney uncovered a stack of old car bumpers. Dragging them back to his studio, he tossed the bumpers into a pile, and when the resulting jumble suggested the movement of dance, he welded them into a ballerina. That first attempt at making art from chrome bumpers was discarded, but the experience transformed Carney's thoughts about sculpture, its materials, and how it could be made. Since that early experiment, his vision has scarcely wavered. In Gorilla, as in all of Carney's sculptures, a familiar and instantly recognizable material is reshaped into an utterly convincing representational form. The car bumpers are still car bumpers, but the gorilla looks very much like a gorilla should. Carney has manipulated the form, the size, and the luster of each metal scrap so it accurately describes and conveys the individuality of the beast. Moreover, he stretches the expressive potential of the material we think we know so well, and it articulates not only the long, powerful arms of the gorilla, but also its sensitive, almost brooding facial features. Part of the brilliance of Jack Carney is that he persuades us to suspend our belief and instantly accept these assembled car bumpers are in fact a gorilla. Only later, if at all, do we consider the incongruity that the gorilla has been constructed from auto parts. Carney has been a favorite of Cedarhurst and of Mount Vernon, Illinois. In the early 1990s, the Mitchell Museum staged a major exhibition of his work.